Hello and welcome back guys to another episode in The Sim. In this episode we're going to concentrate on the DIY MCP rotary switches. Now it just happens to be a 12 pin rotary switch and if I pull this across we've only got one fitted to the DIY MCP and that's this one here, this little one. It indicates the bank angle from 10 to 30 on one side and 10 to 30 on the other. So that means really we need five pins to go out to the Arduino plus a ground. So how do we get 12 pins down to five? And that's where this diagram comes in here. It's quite simple. I'll put this up on the website so you can access it. Any numbers that are the same in degrees, you just link a wire and then send a single wire out to the Arduino. It will become very more apparent as I do some soldering and we get on with the job. Enough talking then, let's head out to the workshop and do some soldering. First up, I need to remove the rotary switch from the MCP just for ease of access. I'm going to mount the rotary switch in the little vise here, ready for soldering, and then I put pin one dead in front of me at the top here at 12 o'clock. I can see from the diagram in front of me here that pins 12, 11, 5 and 6 are all 30 degrees and they need to be connected together. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. Okay guys, and that is the rotary switch all wired up. Let's put the knob on, line it up. It's now time to put all the wires into the Arduino. It's going to be board number two and it's going to be pins 14 to 18, all from the handy crib sheet. 25 degrees goes into pin 14. 30 degrees goes into pin 15, 10 degrees goes into pin 16, 15 degrees goes into pin 17, and the final one, 20 degrees goes into pin 18. That just leaves the ground cable and that's going to go into the Arduino buzz bar underground like so. With the unit all wired up, let's head into ProSim and then to all the details. Up into config, configuration, select combine config, down to MCP throttle and this time we want the switch. It's going to take some scrolling down this time because it's near the bottom. And there we have it. MCP bank limit 25 is the start. It's going to be FSUIPC. This time it's 8 bit unsigned. And the hex offset is 5324.0. Over to the 30 degrees. And that's going to be. 5324.1 the next one 5324.2 3 for the next one sorry that's 5324.3 for the 15 degrees and the final one of 20 degrees 
is 5324.4. Hit OK. After programming ProSim, we now have to program the rotary switch into MobiFly. So it's up into Extras, Settings, MobiFly Modules, and all my pins are on card 2. I'm going to select the card and I'm going to add device. And even though it's a rotary switch, it's still a button. And it will be pins 14. And we'll label that up as bank 25. Add device, button, pin 15, bank 30. Add device, button, pin 16, bank 10, add device, button, pin 17 this time, and this one is bank, spell it correctly, bank 15, and the final one is pin 18, and bank 20. Hit the upload button. Upload done. Click OK. Now we need to go into the inputs tab. We can make all these active again. Double click the row and it's called MCP Bank 25. Open it up, input, it's the second card for me, and it's going to be bank 25. The action type is FSUIPC, and as before, it's going to be 5324, size in bytes is 1, and you could just, there's two ways to do this now. I haven't shown this before, but you can cancel out that and you can type in 01 or you can use the mask box and just select the zero and you enter. So when button is pressed, we click one on release, we do the same FSUIPC 5324. It is one bit again, it's zero one, but this time the set value is zero and then we hit OK. Now we've done the first line, it's very simple, all we've got to do is duplicate the rows. Duplicate the row, change it to bank 30, edit the line, select the device, bank 30, and then we're just going to change the value to a 1, hit OK, release, change the value to bit 1 rather than bit 0, hit OK. Duplicate that row. This should be bank 10. Select the device, and again, all we're going to do is change the bit number from 1 to 2, and the same for the release 1 to 2. Hit OK. Duplicate that line. That's going to be bank 15, edit the line, select the device, bank 15, and the bit number will be 3 this time, and the same for the release, bit number is 3. Hit OK, and duplicate the final line. 20, edit the line, select 20, bank at the top. Bit number this time is going to be 4, and the same for the release, 4, hit OK. With everything wired, the programming done, all that's left to do is hit Run. Maybe flight's running, 7 segments appear to be working, a quick check of the encoders. They're working too, it's looking good, now for the bid test of the bank angle switch. So I'm at 10, 
I'm over to 15 and the MCP is indicating 15. Heading over to 20, they're both reading the same. Up to 25 and 30. Now the next click should stay at 30, it does. Now we're going to hit 10 again and it flips over. 15, 20, 25 and finally 30. Obviously you can't go all the way around, there's only 12 positions and that is it. And that brings us to the conclusion of another episode. Hopefully this one being a lot shorter and you'll get into grips with repetition of just copying and pasting the data. Remember that if you need any more access, visit the website and you'll be able to get all the data from there. And watch these videos back at your pace. For the time being, I'll say goodnight. Sim out.